All right, let's look at number eight. Sorry about the lack of space here. Should have given you some, some more lines there. So uh, state the rules governing the number of significant figures that result from each of the following operations. Now, we group our calculations into uh, well, just two groups. One is addition and subtraction, because I'm sure you remember from fifth grade math that they're essentially the same thing, as well as B, multiplication and division, which again, essentially the same thing. But my rules for governing the number of significant figures as a result of addition and subtraction is that the answer must have the same number of digits to the right of the decimal as there are in the measurement with the fewest digits to the right of the decimal. So you're simply counting the number of digits to the right of the decimal. But for multiplication and division, uh, the answer can have no more significant figures than there are in the measurement with the fewest numbers of significant figures. And so with that in mind, I actually think multiplication and division with significant figures is easier than addition and subtraction. Because all I have to do is count the number of sig figs in multiplication and division. With addition, I have to worry about lining up decimals and counting the number of decimals. It's just a little bit more mental work, but hey, we get to do it all.